Hi and welcome to the Rupert Tuesday, my name is Ruben and this is my review for Netflix's original Indian series, uh, kind of a mini-series called Typewriter. So Typewriter dropped actually a couple of weeks ago and I've been inundated with the amount of content that Netflix constantly, constantly produces and drops and can never capture it all. But a number of people have said you should check out Typewriter, it's a really in interesting Indian series and I do love some of the stuff coming from India so I thought I would finally get round to checking this out and from the trailer to what is actually on screen is almost opposite from the trailer it makes it look out that it makes it look that it's like a really kind of terrifying thriller it's scary and then their first episode makes it look like it's airy Indiana if you know anything about airy Indiana it was a kids kind of horror uh, series they have an investigation to complete every week every like every episode that you watch and every time they get to the end it's like almost a scooby-doo thing where they kind of reveal who the monster is and they they finish this kind of mystery so typewriter is basically there is a house that is haunted there's a typewriter that's gone through some bad voodoo stuff man and this this house is kind of haunted and this family moves in that they've got a heritage with this house and there then there are these kids that want to be a, a ghost chaser they want to catch a ghost ghost faces ghost, ghost facers like from supernatural and so you have these molding storylines the kids who are the ghost hunters you have this family that's moved into this uh, haunted house and this typewriter that has a big history to it and as the five episodes unfold you find out it's all about the blood moon and the fake here the soul collector and it gets deeper and darker and weirder but that first episode really made it feel like it's a kid's family kind of mystery with some supernatural twistings to it very much like in the airy indiana as i was mentioning and for the first half an hour of the first episode i was like this is weird it's kind of has cheesy lines it's a, it's a very quirky family orientated and then some of the cops or the main characters the main adult characters were dropping f-bombs i was like what is happening with this series so i had to pause and look at uh, netflix i went and checked the age restriction and lo and behold it is a 15. so i was like okay so it's not a family friendly series it's 15 and up so teens and and uh, adults which kind of blew my mind because it feels like it doesn't really know what it wants to be one of the worst things of this series is the jump scares because not only are they jump scares but they add things into the jump scares so they'll be sleeping and then there'll be a ghost or a spirit but there'll be something watching over them and as soon as that happens there's this loud kind of noise with the jump scares as you get with jump scares and then they'll add in a scream or something to really heighten heighten that moment At times, it can come across really scary, but when it is scary, it's when it is quiet, when the cinematography at it is at its best. The lighting department has shot these hallways and lit them beautifully and really has an atmospheric tone. But then I do feel like the, the kind of cheesy sound effects take away from that. It's a weird amalgamation of genres and I feel like it doesn't know what it wants to be. Maybe it's because it's produced in India and that is the norm. But for me, I, I kind of wanted it to be either Airy Indiana or uh, The Haunting of the House on Haunted Hill. Something like that because it did remind me of that in parts, especially the cinematography. I thought the cinematography in this at times was fantastic. The lighting, the color palette, so good, so moody. And there were times when it would get, was getting really creepy, especially for the latter episodes as the story unfolds and then it becomes much darker as you discover what the Blood Moon has to do with the storyline, what the soul, soul eater, what the, the fake hero, the soul catcher or eater i guess uh, has to do with the typewriter and how there's kind of really dark stuff behind this i think it's a good series five episodes is probably the right amount for it i don't think they should have stretched any more of the story out it does remind me of house on haunted hill but it also reminds me of airy indiana i like the kids but it that there seems like it's two stories it's like a kid's ghost story they want to capture it and then you have this family that is almost like an adult horror story and that you have the, this mashing of two worlds and because it's a 15 it does seem like it's a bit weird to have that in this I don't know, maybe that's just me. Did you like it? What did you think of this series? 
Um, for those of you that wanted me to review this and said, hey, check this one out, well, here it is. Let me know your comments below on what you thought about this series. I thought it was okay. I really like the cinematography. I'm not so sure about the sound effect. And even the score at times was very overbearing and almost happy-go-lucky, which is the wrong tone to have for a series like this. So I'm going to give Typewriter a B-, minus because I think it's good, but I don't think it's great. Let me know what you think about this, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long on Tuesday. Thank you.